<laughs> Tis the season to save. Santa Claus land. A time for Santa Claus. This is bigger than Santa. <gasps> Nothing's bigger than Santa. Maybe we give old Saint Nick too much static for the commercialization of Christmas. Maybe Jesus would say, consider my servant Nicholas. His life was not easy. He lost his parents as a child in an epidemic, but not before he was old enough for them to help him discover the gift of faith in Jesus. After his parents died, little Nicholas went to a new town and lived a life full of sacrifice and giving to others, flowing out his love for Jesus. In fact, Nicholas lived such a Christ-like life that when the town needed a bishop, he was immediately elected. Later, he was imprisoned for his faith. He was eventually released by the Emperor Constantine. Then, stories of his generosity spread like wildfire. He begged for food for the poor and raised money for girls to use as a dowry so they could get married. And the most often told tale of St. Nicholas is how he would put on a disguise and go out and give gifts to poor children. Nicholas gave everything he had, plus everything he could get from others. Good Nicholas died in 314 AD. His story has spread around the world. Today, there are more European churches named after St. Nicholas than any other person in the history of the church other than people from the Bible. People have done a lot of things to St. Nick. Clement Moore, the poet, gave him a red nose and eight tiny reindeer. Artist Thomas Nast gave Nicholas a round belly and a red fur-trimmed suit. But what's really important is that he lived in the mindset and lifestyle of Christ. The life of Nicholas touched the whole world. Now, here's the real meat of the story. That same Christ-like mindset and lifestyle is supposed to be in and lived by us all. Merry Christmas.